What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's always thanks for coming back. So today we are gonna finish the radius arm bracket. So if you've been following this last few videos, um, we are working on finishing the O5 Plus axle swap kit for the OBS trucks. And uh, so far we got a few things done. Um, obviously we already had the uh, sway bar bracket, the uh, track bar bracket. Uh, we have the coil buckets, but we have to make some uh, design changes to that. That will probably be in the next video once we have everything finished. And I don't know if you can peek under there, but I have the radius arm brackets. Except I'm not gonna show you those ones because I actually missed the mark on them by just a little bit. Um, so uh, I did go ahead and make the uh, design changes. I got a new set of uh, parts cut out and we're gonna go ahead and get these things cleaned up, marked, bent, put together, and we'll throw them on the truck and hopefully this time we get it right. So let's get right to it and here it is guys this is pretty much the radius arm bracket uh completely put together um as you can see we've got this nice offset right here like i had shown you in the plans and i just think this thing looks freaking amazing like i absolutely love the way that it works and uh, like i said our drop bracket still works on this thing so the only thing we have to do is basically weld it together and then i still gotta make the uh, strap that goes right here. Again, I am super happy with the way that this thing's looking. So all we have to do right now is go to the frame, try it on. Uh, basically with the last one, which is those pieces right there, um, these two bolts weren't exactly in the right position. So I had to move them back a little bit. And then this one, I had to kind of rotate it down so that this hole would line up with the actual radius arm. So I got all those changes made. Pretty confident that it's gonna fit good. All the other holes were perfect. Um, so this is the only one that was holding me back, but again, I made all the, all the changes I double checked everything and I think we should be good. So let's go try it out. Okay guys So there's not a lot of light down here, which kind of sucks because this thing looks freaking amazing on the truck Like it's on the frame You got the arm on the truck. Everything is looking freaking good um, And like I said everything I mean, you guys can't see anything. I'm sorry. Uh, but all the bowl holes lined up perfectly everything everything is so good and i'm so happy with this thing like i really wish you guys could really see how good this looks but i am stoked with the way that they are turning out now uh when you do both these things up like i said all the holes at least on my frame they all lined up uh perfectly but you do have to make uh some of the holes bigger uh basically these holes even these holes have to get drilled out to a half inch to be able to use these half inch bolts in there but that is really no big deal and um i did have to cut a little bit of this bracket out uh for it to clear this bend but it was just a little bit but yeah it really wasn't a big deal just a little bit off of the top of it i really wish i would have done, done this earlier in the day to really show you guys how good uh how these things look i am so so happy with the way that they turned out um i just think they look freaking beefy honestly okay guys so hopefully we're able to see something under there because like i said um it, it's it's getting dark out here it's probably like six ish yeah it's pretty much six so we are losing all of the light i guess that's kind of what sucks about uh fall and winter is that the days are super short um but i like the colder weather so it's a trade-off i guess so now with the kit because i get this asked all of the time um i'm doing this videos because i like keeping you guys updated and i like you guys seeing what it is that i'm doing um but just because i got that bracket done doesn't mean that they're going to be on the website yet which by the way thank you to everyone that's been keeping me busy busy um we've been getting so many orders and it just makes me so happy that you guys are buying our products um really really happy um but again oh and by the way um if you want any of the other brackets that i do have uh go to blowingdiesel.com and again you guys are supporting us so much and we really appreciate you guys doing that for us now if you want another way to support us which uh it's a lot easier just drop a like and drop a comment it really helps the channel but anyways back to, to what i was saying um just because i got this bracket done it doesn't mean that is gonna go on the website yet. Um, I still haven't even test drove this truck. So after I have everything completely ins completely installed, um, I have to go back and uh, adjust those coil buckets, like I said. 
So once I have all of that done, the truck will be back on the ground. We'll test drive it. But most importantly, we have to go take this thing to the alignment shop. Uh, and that's just basically so that I know that everything is good. If I go to the alignment shop and they can get the truck in spec easily, that means that I did this right. So obviously I don't want to give you, give, give you guys something that won't be able to get aligned or something like that, you know? So like I said, I, got to, I have to make sure that this is all um, done properly. So hopefully all of that will only take a couple of weeks. Cause like I said, I don't want to have these things on the website. Um, just, just yet. Uh, we've got to make sure that everything is a hundred percent. Now me personally already, I'm really happy with the kit, with everything. Um, but like I said, we just have to put miles on them and take it to the alignment shop. Basically when you take it to an alignment shop, they have to be able to align it within spec of like the O5 plus trucks of a super duty so not not in obs but uh, but you have to get it aligned as if it was a super duty because you basically have the entire suspension of a super duty so um i am actually looking forward to that and like i've been saying i really can't wait to have this kit completely done and have it on the website for you guys because like i said i've been getting asked about this a lot so like i said hopefully I'm really looking to have all of this done and ready on the website um, by like Thanksgiving. So like I said, hopefully by then we'll have everything ready and on there. Um, if not, at least I'm actually thinking about doing pre-orders um, just because like I've been saying with the metal prices and everything, I I'd rather know um, how much I need to spend on metal and get it here and get everything made at once. Uh, it's just a lot easier for me to make a big batch of everything and send them out. Um, it does mean that if you pre-order, you're gonna be waiting on it a little bit longer, um, but at least you'll have a spot right in front of the line to get the kit. Um, so definitely, if you are interested in a pre-order, let me know down below and I'll get that set up so we can have these things on pre-order as soon as um, I feel pretty confident on the uh, start date uh, or, or I guess the uh, delivery date for them. So it would be like a, maybe like a five kit pre-order or something like that. That's pretty much gonna be it for this video. Like I've been saying, I just wanna keep you guys updated on what we're doing here in the garage. And uh, I didn't upload last week, basically because I didn't have that thing ready. Like I've been, like I've been saying, I've been super, super busy. So I haven't had a lot of time to work on these things, which kind of does suck, but it, but don't get me wrong, I love that you guys are keeping me this busy. Anyways, um, I'm gonna put in some late nights um, these next couple of days to get this thing completely done, and hopefully by next week, we'll have this truck back on the ground and driving, uh, that's the goal. But anyways, if you guys are excited about the kit, about this thing being back on the road, and remember, the sooner, we get this thing back on the road, the sooner we can put it right back in the garage and paint this thing. Because I know that that's the number one thing that you guys wanna, wanna see me do to this truck. And I think I've made you guys wait long enough. So I'm also gonna start looking at colors, at how I wanna paint it, and uh, we'll go from there. But again guys, thanks for watching. Again, leave a like, please. It really, really helps me and helps the channel. Drop a comment down below. Like again, let me know. What do you guys think about the pre-order? And uh, yeah, we'll see you for the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.